everyone this is Terry from tidbits and tinkerings and today we are going to be assembling the Mother's Day message reveal slider card that I designed in Cricut Design Space um, everything you see here on my table as far as the paper is in the file that I will be sharing in the description down below and two things I want to point out before we get started are um, in the file you will have two options as far as the type of card base that you want this to be on. Um, we have just a backer piece with a well a liner kind of to put your sentiment on and this will just basically be your card right here okay or we have a top fold card that you can use and I've also included the liner piece on this and this one your um, your message reveal will be on the front and then you can open up and have your sentiment on the inside. So for this one, I am going to go with the top fold. Um, I did go ahead and cut out both just so I could explain to you the pieces that you will see in the file. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is for our little flower pot here, you'll notice on mine that um, I actually have a white border around mine. Um, this is not included in the design space file because what I did was took a screenshot of the little flower pot and then took it into um, Sure Cuts a Lot and created a shadow layer and then exported that as an SVG and uploaded it to design space. So this little shadow layer will not be included in the file. Um, you can just cut out you know a piece of white and then fussy cut a shadow layer if you want but i did want to mention that so we will go ahead and get started um the first thing we are going to do is assemble our little slider piece so what i do for this is take my top piece here and i flip it over and you'll see on the back of this I already have some uh, marks on the back of this. What you're, gonna, what you're gonna do, well, what I do to make this easier is take your little slider piece of cardstock and you will line this up. The easiest way I've found to do it is to try to center it with this little notch on the side and this will go all the way to the edge where that notch is. And then I just hold it in place and then take a pen or a pencil and draw my line around it. <coughs> and you'll have to excuse the coughing and the sniffling. I'm just getting over a uh, cold and I wanted to get this video out before Mother's Day. So I'm pushing myself to do it. Okay, so we've got our marks here. And the next thing you're going to do is put your foam tape on here. I've already cut out my first piece and um, the only thing you have to be careful of here is you are not going to have foam piece of a piece of foam on the side where your notch is and you want to make sure that your foam does not cross over any of your lines that you made here. So I'll probably fast forward through this part um, once I edit the video, but I'm going to go ahead and put my foam down. And I've already cut one piece, so. And this basically, the reasoning for the, the lines here is this is gonna work as the track for your little slider piece. So you wanna try to get that as straight and as close as possible to that line. You don't wanna overlap your line or this piece is gonna fit in here too tight. So you just wanna kinda of keep it as close to that line as you can. Don't go over it. So.
Okay, so we have our foam down, and this is how I have placed mine. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I've got my piece on the bottom and the top of the little slider window, and then I've completed the square since this whole piece is going to be um, elevated off of our surface. All right, and so next we are going to get this put onto our card base. And like I said, I've chosen to go with this top fold. And I'm going to take my insert out. And the next thing we're going to do here is take this and we're going to put this piece down because this is going to get glued directly to our card base. And the easiest way I have found to do this is kind of center up my top layer here. And then let's see, you want to make sure you've got this pretty well exactly how it's going to get placed on here. And then I fiddle around with this until I get it lined up how I think is going to be straight on here. And then now you want to make sure that um, your sentiment is all the way to the left in this window. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Let's see. Yeah. So now I'm going to hold this in place and then kind of lift away my top layer here. And then once you get that piece moved, you can kind of see whether or not this is straight and mine actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to hold. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me one side of this and I'm going to use some art glitter glue, a wet adhesive, and put some on the back side of this without moving it, hopefully. And of course, I've got a clog here. Oh, let's see. Oh, darn. It is not going to come unclogged. All right, let me grab my other bottle real quick. <coughs> okay, so try this again. All right, so some wet adhesive on here. And then stick that side down. And then same thing over here on this side. All right, so we have our little sentiment piece put in place and mine is a little crooked, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that. All right, and so next step is going to be to take your top layer here and remove the backing from your foam tape. They don't like to release that liner. Oh, nope. All right, so FYI, I thought I was going to be saving some money and picked up this roll of foam, this roll here, from Dollar Tree, and not impressed. So, just FYI. Alright, so one more piece. Alright, and, and 
this is going to be tricky for me because I do not do well at getting things lined up. So what I'm going to do is try to just start here at the bottom and get that put on. And then there we go. All right, looks okay to me. All right, now our next step is our little slider piece here. Now this here, um, if you want, you could like put a little slice here and put you a piece of ribbon on it or just a little circle pull tab over it. <coughs> For this one, I'm just gonna leave it like it is. I may like cut out a piece of washi tape and make a little pull for it. But as you can see, that slides right in. And the next challenge is getting our little vase put on here. And what I like to do is, I kind of laid this out in design space how it's going to work for us. Um, that's what I kind of try to do. Just put it in place. And then at the same time, I try to put my finger down on it and put some pressure on it and do a slide together to make sure when this slides all the way over, it is going to completely reveal our message. So that looks good to me. And then the challenge is getting it back. So I remember how I placed it. So we are good to go. And for this, what you're gonna do is put you a piece of foam tape right along this edge of your slider piece and make sure your slider piece is all the way against that piece of foam that you put on the back side. So, I'm just going to cut a little piece of this, and I'm going to stick it right down to the edge here. All right, and then peel that off. And then make sure we've got our placement and how we had it on our little test run. For me, it was pretty close to the bottom and then the spout off of the edge here. And then push that down. All right, and then let's do a test run here. All right, perfect. So that part is done. And then the only thing left is the little mom tag here. And this one um, does have the background and design space. So go ahead and get that put on. And I'm going to pop this up with some foam tape as well to give a little bit more dimension. And I did not get that lined up at all. All right, so there's our little mom tag. I got glue on mine, but okay. And then this, now you want to be careful with the placement of this because you do not want your um, flowers to get caught on it. That's another reason I'm going to put foam under this. So what I'm going to do is put my foam along the top edge, a little bit toward the center, but not too far because I want those flowers to slide under this. So, okay, that's the top. So I'm going to do mine. Actually, I'm going to go down just a little more. There we go. And stick 
this up here. All right, and then let's see if we've got that. Yes, so that works out pretty well. So, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, then, like I say, you'll have your insert that you can put your sentiment on. I'll hold off doing that until I get my sentiment written on here, and then I will glue it in. Uh, but that's it. Hope you enjoy the file. And if you decide to make this, I would really love to see your versions. Um, you can find me on just about all of the social media sites under Tidbits and Tinkerings. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, plus I have my own blog. So just Google me and you can find me pretty much anywhere. If you have any questions, just post them below in the comments and I will do my best to answer. So thanks for watching and have a great day.